If we struggle with evil attacks, remember, dark choices attract evil. Light choices attract God's favor. It's up to us to flip the switch. Top of the morning to you. So, in continuing in Proverbs 11 and 12, with the eyes of love and the mind of love, we're able to see clearly the things that bring light to our souls and the things that bring darkness. Now, this is important because in Ephesians 5, 8 through 17, God's word says the following. You were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, finding out what is acceptable to the Lord. Verse 11 says, Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. Verse 14 says, Therefore God says, Awake, you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Verse 15 So see that you then walk not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Verse 17, therefore do not be wise, but, or unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. So how do we know what the will of the Lord is? By reading scriptures like Proverbs 11 through 12. There the path that leads to light is clear and the path that leads to darkness is also clear. For example, light is found when we are honest humble, full of integrity, and righteous. Darkness is found when we're the opposite. There are no gray areas. Our actions are either light or dark. So if you want to see if what you're doing or what you plan to do is within God's will, read and obey God's word. If you have problems, you can sort of reverse engineer them. Determine if the life you are living in is full of darkness or light. Are you continually faced with wave after wave of bad things happening to you or negative things surrounding you with no relief? Then review Proverbs and see if there are any dark compromises you are intentionally or unintentionally making. Maybe you are allowing some seemingly gray things into your light life. First of all, with God, there is no gray. It's either light or dark. Darkness attracts evil. Light attracts good or God's favor. Now, that's not to say every attack upon your life is a result of you allowing darkness to rule in your life. But if it's over time and you get no relief, you can bet something dark is causing some bad repercussions. Let God's word be your guide as a lamp for your feet and a light unto your path. Psalm 119, 105. Have a great day.